What is the fastest way a room of happy people turned sour you've witnessed? When I was a kid, there were about 6 ace families in our area who were a good group of friends. Regular holidays together, kids all close friends too, and in the same classes at school etc. The backstory was that one of the families kept noticing money going missing from a drawer in the master bedroom. They had an older son who was getting the blame, but was denying it. Fast forward a few weeks and it's their younger kid's birthday, and everyone is at their house. Usual script was the kid's party would be late afternoon, then in the evening the kids would end up playing games in some bedroom as the adults had a few drinks. Kids were happy, because we got to stay up late with all our friends. Parents got to have a few guilt-free drinks. This night was going as normal, until we are all shuffled out and home earlier than usual. We got the full story the next day. Once the kids were out of the way, the owners of the house had turned on their TV and pressed play on a video. On screen there was CCTV of the bedroom where the money had been going missing. Clearly in the video you could see the wife of one of the other couples sitting in that very room, going into the drawer and taking money. Apparently the switched off the video, said what you saw is exactly what it looked like and asked that couple to leave. Everyone else left shortly after. Oof. That is so embarrassing for the husband, assuming he didn't know, and awkward for everyone else. What happened with their kids relationships with the other kids? Pretty sure the husband didn't know. And I can't talk for the other families, but our parents used it as a way of explaining to my brothers and I about how stealing is wrong. However they also stressed that it wasn't their kids fault, so we shouldn't use it as an excuse to bully them. We saw the kids a lot less regularly for the next few months and the family moved away over the summer. My friend used to work for a company that has always promised out at department a trip to Hawaii for working through a couple of rough years without pay raise, and on the flip side we won't get any personnel cut. It was a verbal promise that once we are back to profitable, the ad department would get all expense pay trip. Back around October of 2015, they were gathered in the largest meeting room for a meeting with the president. There were snacks, drinks, pizza, etc. It was assumed that it was a celebration for a good year and they'd get the promised trip. It was a mass layoff since it has been outsourced. All credentials were locked during the meeting and everyone was asked to leave the premise right after the meeting. Had a friend that was in it have something similar happen, but the department caught wind of it early. So TH6E put a password on the servers and never told the employer. They got fired and escorted and then called the next day. They all denied knowing lol. Sweet revenge when the servers got wiped. Sadly it didn't cripple the company or anything. But it definitely fucked their month up. Every it guy knows you have to buy us and boot pass with the server and then change the backup encryption key. Source, size admin for 10 plus years, much fantasizing about shitty jobs, since it's illegal for me to fuck the company, but not the other way around. Our adept can't even troubleshoot our email. I doubt they even know this. Come to think of it, they do deserve a trip to Hawaii. I was on a Chicago to New York flight. We all get on the plane, but we're delayed taking off due to a heavy storm going on. About 20 minutes in, everybody was still pretty calm until the pilot announces they are working on getting our baggage loaded because it's been sitting on the tarmac this entire time. The entire plane lucks out and sees all our luggage just sitting there in the pouring rain uncovered and starts freaking out. Im calling it someone's computer got ruined. 100%. Luckily mine was carry on, but I was just coming back from Japan and all the things I bought were in a duffel bag that got ruined. I never check anything I don't want ruined it's like that sa hate me every time I check my luggage I always get that shitty I've been selected for random search the last few times I've always felt something was missing. Random yeah go fuck yourselves. I luckily have only been pulled to the side once, but I always get those pieces of paper in my bag saying it was randomly searched when I'm forced to check my bag. The girl I was with got searched in France, and we got asked by three agents very sternly what is this, when they found our power strip with US outlets. I got pulled to the side three times on one holiday with four flights one time they wanted to check my camera, the second time, on my way home, I totally forgot I had a small knife in my baggage and the third time it was just random. Back when I waited tables, guy walking to his table, had a massive heart attack, and hit the floor. EMT said he was dead before he hit the floor. 
I've never seen a restaurant go so silent so quickly. That's how I want to go. Fucking up a lot of people's evenings. So did he stiff you on the tip? The family actually came back later that night, after the hospital. The manager recognized them, and calmed the meal. They tipped well with a free meal. The president of our company got completely plastered at our Christmas party. His speech started off funny, because he was slurring hard, and he was playing on it. Then he started talking about how he came from nothing and became something. Then he proceeded to tell us how, if it wasn't for us working so hard and keeping our clients happy, he wouldn't have been able to accomplish building his mega mansion for him and his family, nor would he have been able to afford his new bents. Awkward muttering, followed by him directing us to drink up and enjoy, because due to budget cuts, the future Christmas party slash bonus budget is cancelled from here on out. Many of my coworkers relied on that bonus. No one was impressed. Except for one person, the rest of us quit within the first few months into the new year. Sounds like the owner slash MD from my spouse's last job. News cars every few months, paying his kids a salary for doing nothing, flushing cash from the business for personal home improvements. They had 100 employees tops, they all worked like dogs. Their Christmas party? Held in the office, where everyone had to bring in food to share. Record profits? Ha thanks for the work suckers. Check out my kid's new car. Ended up losing lots of skilled workers to a rival company. Hopefully shit's a hedgehog. It's like the company MISO works for. Multimillion on profit year on year. Owner has a brand new high-end car every 6 months. But he has just given the factory workers a pay rise that fucks them over big time due to changes in overtime and night shift work. The guys on nights have worked out they'll lose £4,000 a year because of it. There are over 1,000 employees in the factory and at least three quarters of them are looking for a new job after Christmas. They are all highly skilled and they are in high demand so no one is going to struggle to find anything. Once at my work my boss arranged a pint, pizza, and paint night. The company no budget for overtime, so the bosses promised us that they would buy us booze and pizzas to encourage us to paint the giant store with them. So a big group of us volunteered just to get there, and the manager left early, promising the pizza and beer would be along shortly. It didn't. I pray you all walked out. Did you paint giant dicks? Giving pissed off employees no supervision and a whole lot of paint. I too, like to live dangerously. That's when you all paint a giant can of bud on one wall and a pepperoni pizza on the other. I was watching Bruce Lee's Enter the Dragon in a movie theater when it came out in the early 1970s. The projector died during a fight scene. Similar experience. I'd already seen Batman with Jack Nicholson as Joker. I went again with my uncle, not much older than me, and a few of his friends. Remember that scene where Joker, who has yet to be seen as Joker, is talking to the crime boss who tried to have him killed? The boss, Grissom, calls Joker Jack, his real name. And Joker responds with Jack's dead. You can call me. Steps out of shadows for the big reveal. Joker. At Jack's dead, everyone watched the film melt onto the camera. I laughed my ass off but everyone there who hadn't already seen the movie lost their damn minds. I actually thought I was going to witness a riot. Lumeo I actually was in one. I went to college in this small town, some satellite facility. Anyway, there was a like $2 porn theater place out the other side of town. So like any good frat boy, when I got wind of this place I immediately told all my housemates and we descended en masse that weekend. Place was skeevy as fuck, it seemed like an old rundown theater that closed, but got reopened by the porn guys. Complete with boarded over windows and the rusted hulks of cars in the far end of the parking lot. I was getting some serious negative vibes, but since we were horny and stupid we paid for our tickets at the entrance and went on in. There were other patrons in there, a bunch of miscellaneous random men including plenty of old guys you'd think look more at home in a church than this aging den of filth. So they start showing the porn and yeah it was wild. Thing is, the camera kept stuttering, and I was torn between woot big screen porn and Jesus fuck where did they did this gear. Then halfway through it just blacked out completely. After a couple seconds people started muttering, then a minute later some guy poked his head into the projectionist's room and he yelled they gone. The moment that sank in, all hell broke loose. We just wanted to get foe, but apparently some of the older guys completely lost their shit. 
People were throwing stuff. I heard glass breaking. Then someone fucking heaved a chair at the damn screen. At that point we were almost out the door, so I didn't take a second look and just fucking booked it with my buddies. We later heard they stopped using the place and it was a regular abandoned building again. Every family reunion, when my one aunt gets drunk and brings up my other aunt that died, happens every time. My grandma keeps comparing me to the aunt who died before I was born. It's awkward. Something tells me she likes to see things of her past daughter in you. Totally too much pressure to put on a person, but you may be her little glimpse of someone she misses dearly. Agreed, was going to say something similar. Probably just her way of remembering someone dear. Probably the other way around, like she was such a wonder person with so much potential, and then there's you. How in the pancake flipping fuck would you know that? They may be projecting. At a small gathering, as the lid was lifted on an extra large pizza, a guy with a miserable cold sneezed directly onto it. Please tell me he offered to buy a new pizza. It's been 3 hours. Fuck that guy, I'm assuming he didn't. Yeah that's a really shitty move. I don't think he did it on purpose though, but that being said why, go to a party if you're sick. Ugh my head feels like cement. My body is so drained I can barely move. I can't stop sweating. Throat is killing me. Oh yeah a party will fix me up. Also, if I sneeze on the pizza, it's all mine. Was on a team, about 15 people, for a special project for a regional internet service provider. During the B-weekly team meeting the manager was super pumped about how far ahead of schedule we were due to some new processes we came up with. After about 20 minutes of attaboys, the manager concluded with telling us all we were being laid off in the same tone of voice she used for the whole meeting issuing a bunch of praise. Most of us awkwardly laughed for a couple seconds thinking she was joking. She was not. I used to be a courier, had the same customers every day. One of the customers was an online store that had about 50 employees. The store was very successful and bought for mid 8 figures by a bigger international competitor. The couple that owned the website organized a party with food and music, talking excitedly about their successes and praising themselves, only to go on and fire 90% of the employees in that company. To be honest, I probably would sell a store for $10 million plus that I made, so I didn't have to deal with everything ever again. Wouldn't mid 8 figures be closer to $50 million? You're making this decision even easier. That small island of my own territory.